And good afternoon guys, Jerry again, Goody Bushcraft. And I'm back out, finally. Heading up to a particular favorite spot of ours with uh, Dino and Mark Taylor tonight. Uh, it's a pretty late start to be honest. Uh, not long before we lose the light. And it's gonna be really cold tonight. It's zero now, the thermometer in the car. Uh, it's not got above, above freezing all day really. But it's dry, that's the main thing. So yeah, I'm gonna head up there. Those that know know to the uh, the sacred place, <laughs> uh, and just have a nice uh, a nice night chilling out. A few beers, very small campfire maybe. All good. Let's go. When it's summer getting up here, but it's still a good old hike. Uh, last third to do, almost there. at the top on the cliff edge uh, not too far from uh, the good old bushcraft forest but yeah I've been joined by my good friend uh, Mr Mark Taylor Hello. he actually set off about half an hour after than me and still caught me up <laughs> so that shows you how slow I am but uh, yeah it's all good it's hard work to catch mate <laughs> with uh, Mark's bought two big sacks of wood I bought a sack of wood so because there's literally no deadfall around here and, all. and we're definitely going to need that fire tonight uh, but it's beautiful up here as beautiful always. View. It is, isn't right. it? It really is. So we're gonna get set up, uh, get chilled out, and then await Dino's arrival, which I'm assuming is gonna be in about an hour or so. Right. Right, a bit of lighting because it is dropping dark already. It's like a crazy haze to everywhere. I mean, it seems very strange. But anyway, yeah, just to the good old British Army DPM uh, Bergen. Got tons of stuff in there. Got the basher poles, bought the, the basher, but I don't think it's gonna rain. Might just bivy it to be honest to save save messing about, but plenty of extra winter layers in there. Plenty of food, water, all supplies really. Everything we need for a good evening. Like I said, we've got all this firewood. Mm. We've got Mark himself, which is You've even got a bit of DPM. Oh, Not you know what I mean? <laughs> a bit of DPM. Good to be out. All right, guys, there's tonight's sleeping arrangement. British Army Arctic sleeping bag as always. That is definitely needed tonight. Me uh, Nemo inflatable mat and the good old Gore-Tex bivy bag. I've got a little ground sheet as well that I may put down over on the grass there. It's pretty much where I'm going to go. Just under that tree. Uh, and I've got the tarp the basher if we need to set it up but like a, like I said I don't think we're gonna bother I think we'll be fine there's no rain it's possibly snow <laughs> but uh, as long as there's no rain we can cope box of the bivy bag as well okay then there we have it just laid the bivy there it's almost flat <laughs> even though I don't look it and then just Roll that back. It's out there. Just got, as well as my sleeping bag, I've got a extra thick combat jacket, thick leather gloves, and my woolly hat. Ready for later. I just put on the British Army softy top uh, because it is certainly cold. I think it's probably about minus one already. It's crazy. 
Box here is very posh, Bivy. Yeah. Looking awesome, mate. Five star luxury accommodation. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, takes race shortly and see if we're allowed to light the fire. Uh, I guess I'm heating the place. Right, cheers guys. The fire is lit. We've had a little bad news. I've had a phone call from Dino. Uh, he's a bit under the weather, uh, so he's not going to make yeah, it camping. It. And it's not that it's cold and he's being a chicken. Don't say that. No, we'd never say that, would we? <laughs> nah, it's all good, mate. He's uh, hoping better soon, you know. I haven't lovely. snotted up myself, I haven't snotted up, but yeah, it's all good. It's only minus two at the minute, so... Roasted, too... <laughs> lovely. We're going <laughs> we're gonna to do this, uh, the, the small fires to make the... Uh, we've got that stash of wood there and two bags of wood over there that Mark bought. That should do us. Yeah, on top of the cliff edge. Well, cheers, mate. Good to be cheers. out. Oh, that's really nice. Right, let's get warmed up. That's right. So as well as a few beers, Mark's coming with yeah. the got the coffee, the Steve Frogmoon invented technique. Yeah, yeah. So it's a coffee sachet in the old cup, and a few uh, segments of Terry's chocolate orange as well. And then what was it? What what complements? But yeah, it? The, the main the main <laughs> ingredient, uh, Chateau de Pape. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nineteen forty seven Jack Daniels vintage. <laughs> so Chateau like Neuf de Pape. A Terry's chocolate orange. Yeah, and then we bob uh, Jack Daniels. Some of that in the uh, warm drink. Yeah, yeah. Then obviously we boil the boil the water up. Make a nice in. warm Lovely, liqueur. Yeah. How good's that? <clears throat> yeah, we're just we're trying to keep the fire nice and small so we can sit really close, keep warm. Ignore that rolling down there, I spilt the beer over. It's a beautiful night. I don't know if I mentioned before, but we had a phone call earlier saying Dino's not gonna be able to make it. Uh which is unfortunate. It's a shame I haven't seen Dino for a while, so it would have been cool to have him here, but he's not very well. And being out at this temperature, if you're not very well, ain't a good idea. So, it's just me and uh, Mr. Mark over there. A nice bit of music. We've got the Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, move out of the way of that, because if that falls over, it's going to go all over me. It's in a bit of a precarious Yeah, angle. you don't want that, mate. <laughs> it, this is the wood we bought with us, like scrap pallet wooden things, because where we are on the cliff top, there is no, no wood. there's no wood. So you bring your own wood. And we'll clear this up in the morning in this fireplace. I'm just gonna enjoy the evening. Just stirring the drink with a bit of uh, <laughs> kiln dried wood. <laughs> he forgot his spoon, so. <laughs> Extra it might, flavour. It, it might add a bit of flavour to it, why not? Eh? But yeah, awesome night. Really cool, just chilling out, a little bit of music on, just enjoying being outdoors. Uh, it is absolutely Baltic. As you'd expect for December the December the something, what is it, Mark? December the eighth. Eighth, mate. Yeah, day after my lad's birthday. Yeah, nice and toasty around the fire, and we've got a little bit more wood to keep the fire going. But There's plenty of wood, actually. The second you walk away, it is freezing. The bivvy bags are down there, uh, so it'll be a case of stay warm, get as warm as we can, and then uh, jump in the bivvy bag. Obviously, separate bivvy bags, not jumping in Mark's bivvy. That's. Uh, you said earlier that wow. we'd be in the same <laughs> bag. Oh, never, never, oh, never mind that now. <laughs> right, I'm gone. Right, we've just put the last few scraps of wood on. Uh, oh, Mark. I'm good, thank you. Yeah, it's been cool, nice hasn't it? Nice and toasty by the fire. Yeah, yeah. This little fire has kept us so warm all night. It's been good. Small uh, fire, sit closer. I mean, sat, setting the world to rights, just chilling out, enjoying being outdoors. And soon it's going to be time to leg it over the to the bivvies. Yeah, maybe. Can you see that? Yeah, over there. There you go, look. The bivvy area. I can hardly see you. Well, yeah, there. it's, it's been a while since I've been out Camoed. in uh, in December at uh, this temperature. Someone's <laughs> nicked my bivvy? <laughs> Holy smokes. I can't see yours. 
Yeah, it's been a while since it's been out uh, in December, this kind of temperature, but you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do this, aren't you? you gotta, Push the boundaries. You gotta make the most of it. We, uh, years ago, when in the early days, well, I say early days, but years ago on YouTube, we, we, we made a point of getting out in every month of the year, so I've camped every single month up here of the year. But I've not camped up here in December, I must admit, for a few years now. Uh, and it's all good. You get yourself a nice fire, you get enough layers on, uh, and uh, yeah, it's all good. Fire makes a massive difference. It does, yeah. As soon as you walk away from for a pee, uh, it's, it's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? It's frosty. Frosty <laughs> yeah, everywhere. Frosty. <laughs> it certainly is, but that's nice, that's welcome. Uh I sat pretty close to it, but it is that cold. I'm rambling on now, I'm a bit snotted up, so uh I'll spare you that and uh I have a very early start in the morning. Very early. Uh gotta be back home for eight, so I've gotta be up I've got to get up about quarter to seven. Uh, it's still be dark, so I'll need me a torch, so it's all good. So I think We'll see you guys in the morning. Yep. That was a cold one. So it's half past six in the AM. Frosty. Very frosty. Just chucked a little tarp over the uh, rucksack. Yeah. Pretty cold. Gotta get going back to reality now. Trust the old uh, British Army bivvy bag. Uh, slightly frozen. <laughs> Probably pushed it to its limit there last night. It was made in 1990 though, so it's still doing pretty good. <laughs> That's where I was. Done the hard bit. And it's just a steady walk back to the village. That was pretty intense coming down there, man. <laughs> the bit from the cliff tops, uh, slippy and a bit treacherous at best of times, even in summer. So uh, yeah, I didn't film that bit. Definitely hands at the ready job, but luckily we didn't slip. Right, let's go. Yeah, it is really bright, isn't it? Okay then, that's it for another one. We're back in the village. How good was that, Mark? Awesome, mate. Really enjoyed it. Uh, some people might think it's a bit crazy getting out in them type of temperatures, but it's good to test yourself, isn't it? You've got the gear, mate. It's yeah. Right, isn't it? Tons of layers, so like, core temperature never really dropped. My feet were a tiny bit cold at night, but apart from that, it was all good. I shame Dino couldn't make it, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure there's another time. Back to reality now. Uh, not, not much else to say, but thank you for watching. Thank you very much. I haven't done this for a while. Thank <laughs> you very much for watching if you watch this far. I'll leave you a few pics. See you later.